Hello friends, I'm Obi Wakanobi for Geeks Under Grace, and welcome back to Geeks Under Grace Plays Banjo Kazooie. In this episode, we are going in a pyramid. We're gonna go in a pyramid, because that's what you do in Egypt, or Gobi's Desert. Or no, this is Gobi's Valley, sorry. Ah! Again, there it is talking about sand snakes. Or whatever, and only survive in the in the that sand. Again, it's it's just like the uh, what were they? The piranhas in the swamp. Anything over here of importance? Well, there's some notes. Oh, and the carpet is gone. I want to get in here. Why can't I get in here? Why is this door blocked? Alright, well, hopefully later, viewers. Hopefully later. Like, post game later. Still waiting for the carpet to return. Because I rather foolishly jumped off. There we go. Oop, don't, don't run off the edge of the carpet, though. That would be even more foolish. Uh, yeah, it's just a one up. I think. Yeah, I got everything. Okay. You can never be too careful. Never be too careful. So, let's run up the hill as Kazooie, because only she can. Let's, uh, let's find the new move. I know exactly where it is. So we're gonna go do that. Well, maybe not. Maybe, oh wait, yes, it's over here. Blech. I knew that. I have to talk to him as Banjo. I can't do it as Kazooie. These are the running shoes. Beaky wears them on her scrawny feet to make her run really fast for a limited time. Hmm, your energy's a little all filled up for you. Well played, Banjo. You've now learned all the moves in the game. Alrighty then. So that is the last bottles move that we are going to find here in the entire game. But we're not done with the game. We're only about halfway through, actually. Less, well, a little more than halfway through, I think. But, now that we've got the speedy shoes, or whatever you call them, I can't remember, let's go grab a pair and put them to use. Uh, where are they? I can't remember where they are. Okay. These bees are really bugging me. Get it? <laughs> I'm so punny. Alright. Where were they? Hmm. Were they right behind bottles? No, they're not here. It's funny, I can remember exactly where the move is. I can't remember where to find the, the shoes, though. This vexes me. I kind of want to go in this pyramid, though. So, we're going to grab a couple feathers and head to the flight pad. Because it's what you do. Oh no! Oh no. There we go. We're good. We're good. Only took one hit. Okay, so, how you get inside this first pyramid, obviously you hit the target with a beak bomb. Oh, I missed. Yeah, right past it. <laughs> Let's turn around. And, oh, I'm a little bit off. Okay. I'm gonna fly around town. Sometimes this beak bomb takes a little bit of aiming. Oh, shit. There, here we go. And you have to get down there in 20 seconds or less, but of course, the timer starts counting while you're still in the air during the cutscene. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? I can't believe I messed that up. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I messed that up. Wow, that was terrible. Ah, I'm gonna die. What's going on? Will we experience our first death in the run? 
That would be really bad. Okay. And fire! Now hopefully, if we just point straight down... Uh, there we go. And there we go! It's really that simple. I don't know why I was having so much trouble with it. Alright. Well, there's a little dude in here. Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? No. We're looking for a treasure pipe, boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes. Okay, so how do we get it? Look at this little guy. He's got his friend here. Toots. He goes... Yeah. Oops, that's not what I really meant to do. I meant to do one of these. Let's collect all the notes. All the notes, all the notes. And there are notes in here, too. There we go. We're halfway with the notes. And, of course, there's notes in here. Yes, notes. All the notes. All the notes. So how the heck do we do this? Well, I don't remember how long it took me to figure this one out. But... You just gotta throw eggs in him. And his little snaky buddy shows up. Because you use eggs to solve all the puzzles. And of course it gets faster every time. And it takes, what, like six eggs? Seven? Ah, thousand tanks, my friend. His top will now help you with your quest. What you're supposed to do is jump on top of the basket Snake extends because he's a snake charmer, I guess. And there we go. And you just wait for the music to end. It's a good beat. You can dance to it. I like it. Hmm. I like iced tea with lemon too. Helps keep my voice nice and silky smooth for you all. Anyway, that door will permanently be open from now on. All the feathers. Or not. Maybe I lied to you. I was totally wrong. <laughs> Alright, so. We've learned the move. We've got half the notes. Let's do this next section. We've got stairs that lead nowhere. I don't know if you've noticed. So what is supposed to be there? There is also a mumbo token floating in the air. Why was that there? Well, there's probably some egg puzzle that we haven't solved yet. <laughs> if you notice, we've got more sphinges over here. Or another one. Different one. Oh, I missed. I was a little too early. Oh, a little too late. Not quite in the middle. There we go. Yeah. Of course it takes three for these guys. Yum! I like eggs! I like eggs from my head down to my legs. Does anybody remember that commercial? Only 80s kids really remember that commercial. I hate those kinds of statements. Looks like we have just enough time left in the episode to complete this puzzle. Depending on my aim. Oh no. Okay. I really thought for a second that I was going to miss the platform. Alright. So. I think he's a little bit faster than the last guy. But. I've kind of figured out their pattern a little better. Oh. Rise from your grave. <laughs> Making all the references today. There we go. I don't want to fall off. That would be bad. It would be really bad. You have less control with Kazooie than you do with Banjo. Banjo can't go up those steep hills. Okay, let's square up. That was a little early. That was a little early also. 
There we go. That looked a little early, but it wasn't. Rise from your grave. Oh, uh, that was fun. Alright. Uh, well, we're not that far into the episode, actually. Maybe we can do some stuff inside this pyramid. Uh, but I do want to collect these notes first. Always collecting notes. Because it's Banjo-Kazooie. It's what you do. Oh, okay. I didn't want to stay on that ramp anyway. Hey, well, I'm having all kinds of trouble today. Let's go over here and flip flap up the step dip. I am perpetually caught in a loop. We've got a Banjo-Kazooie glitch here, folks. Okay. Anyway. Let's go get those eggs. So we can replenish a little bit. So I don't want to walk off the edge. Might be faster with Kazooie. Faster does not always mean better. Oh, something I learned the other day. The sound of the egg collect is actually the sound of a kazoo, but pitched way down. The kazoo is playing a couple notes from the kazooie theme. ba da 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 ba da 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 but it's pitched way down to so... <laughs> Yeah. This is King Sunday Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. <coughs> that really hurt my voice. My throat. I... You chose not to heed your warning. Prepare to run. So, as you can see, we have a limited time to make it through the maze, and this is in fact a maze. And I made a wrong turn. Um... Man, I have not played this in years. I really don't remember the path through the maze. I'm kind of doing this blind. Half blind. If you don't make it, I think the ceiling falls on you? That is at a dead end I can already see. I'm making all the mistakes today. Oh, man. It might have been a mistake. Don't. That's dead end. It might have been a mistake to run in here. But, okay, I guess I made it. No, the bear survived. He's after King and King, the King's ancient relic. Bar can't talk sometimes. Ah, yes, the King's ancient relic. It is in fact a jiggy. Oh, I heard a jinjo somewhere. That's not a jiggy, jinjo. That's a jinjo. Very cool. The, the poipo one. And I also got a gold feather. I don't need more gold feathers. Um, I kind of want to head back in, because I saw that grunty pad. I want to get the grunty pad, I want to get the grunty pad. And timer resets. How do we get to the grunty pad and back? Should be this way? This looks like the right path. Yes. And the timer stops. <gasps> And what do we have here? The sarcophagus opens. What is it with Jiggies and sarcophagi in this game? Is that the proper plural of sarcophagus? Sarcophagi? That is a dead end. That is a dead end too. Right, there's a one up in there somewhere and you can kill the uh, the mummies with a uh, with a wonder wing, and no other way. Uh, but yeah. All right. So we took the Kazooie exit, and here's that mumbo token that was flying in the sky. A lot of mumbo tokens so far in this level, but no mumbo. Unfortunately, he's not in this level. But I think that's gonna do it for this episode of Geeks Under Grace Plays Banjo Kazooie. I'm Obi Wan Kenobi. For more geeky content, be sure to check out geeksundergrace.com and find us on all of our social media: Facebook, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube for more of this, and you can also follow me everywhere on the same places. Uh, thanks for watching. Be blessed. <laughs>